Hello there, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Remland. I'm the plant hunter at Costa Farms here in Miami, Florida. And I'm here today to answer some questions you guys have sent in. And we're going to start with question number one. When is it the time to up-pot my network calathea? Uh, good thing about calathea network, as in most calatheas, actually, I should say actually all calatheas, they are fairly slow-growing plants. I think the best way to know when would be because the way calatheas reproduce, and I'm going to kind of go in here and show you guys a little bit about this, is they produce a lot of what we call division, side shoots, suckers, there's all kinds of terminology for it. When they get as full as this plant is, it's a pretty full one, uh, you're getting close, you know, probably three months, six months, uh, you probably could put it in a bigger pot. You don't have to put it in a bigger pot. Calatheas, like a lot of indoor plants, actually like to be root bound. They like drainage. They have enough soil there, enough moisture, what we call water holding content capacity, water holding content capacity uh, to maintain you know, the amount of water they drink. Three to six months, could go a year, could even go two years. You'll, you'll know when you see it, when the plant starts to maybe lower leaves start to get a little discolored, but only one size bigger pot. So if this is a six inch pot, you want to go to an eight inch pot, even a seven inch pot, but you don't want to go to a 10 inch pot or a 12 inch pot because then there's going to be too much water holding capacity in the soil media and the plant is going to be sitting with its lower roots in a big cavity area of soil. And again, it's, that's kind of like mud. Now, how big do network calatheas get? The calathea network is a low profile, low stem profile type calathea. There are some varieties uh, that grow much taller. You know, they're, they're, they grow up real tall. But this variety, the stem length will not get much, much higher than that. So maybe it gets about this taller, but that would only be because of light stretch. But, but in most cases, this is probably as low as it gets. We call it a low profile uh, home decor type indoor, indoor plant, which is good. Fits in a lot of places where tall doesn't work. Now, why do network calatheas have those little boxes? Uh, I'm going to assume that from the question, it's an interesting question, uh, that you mean the, the venation or the way the, the veins of the plant uh, are crossing and is making these little tiny boxes. If you look at it very closely, and uh, we can get a close up here, you'll see it. Uh, it's basically that you have lines running two different directions of, of the, what we call the venation, uh, of the, and the coloration is different because it is some unique characteristic of this uh, species of calathea, so that you have some of it's green, some of it's a little lighter color, so that's, that's how you get the boxes. What is the story behind Calathea Network? Uh, Calathea Network actually is a hybrid discovered of Calathea musaica, musaica, it's even hard for me to pronounce it. And it was found to have, again, interesting enough on the previous question, the boxes are more pronounced, the, or the venation as we call it, is more pronounced in the, in the leaf, so that it, it has a better uh, impact. It, it looks prettier than the, the original uh, species of, of, this, of this variety. It's a little more darker, so it's kind of a kind of how this mutation was. And it was discovered in the Netherlands uh, about 15 years ago. Do I need to miss my network calathea? I would say no. Uh, maybe if you live in very, very cold areas, Minnesota, North Dakota, Canada, in the Midwest of Canada, you could miss them in the winter time when the humidity is very low. Uh, it won't hurt them but I'm not sure if it will help them that much. But again, try it out and see, see if it helps you. I think you're much better to probably put this plant, uh, into, put some rocks, put this around, uh, like on a tray or something with some rocks with water. I think you have more potential of that water during the winter time when, when the heaters are running, it's very dry, for that water to evaporate and evaporate up into the plant. It won't help the, the top of the plant as much as it helps the bottom to get humidity because that's where the snowmates are and that's where the there's a lot more reaction there to, to water. Do I need to trim my calathea network? I would only say trim it uh, if you have some yellow leaves on it. It's, it's not abnormal to again on almost all indoor plants to lose some leaves, especially in the beginning as the plant starts to uh, establish itself in a lower light condition in your home. It will get rid of some lower leaves because they're not getting light enough light to the bottom of the canopy. Also, they'll lose some lower leaves because they're just not needed by the plant. So if you see some yellow leaves on the bottom, you can trim them off. Yeah. How do I care for my network? Again, great question. The most important thing on calatheas is they don't like chlorinated water 
or water that's had fluorine added to it, which is in a lot of cities in the United States for, for reasons that have to do with teeth and cavities, there's been fluorides added to the water. It's not a bad thing. The chlorine is used to zap for, again, bio, you know, microorganisms, you know, uh, pathogens in your water. Most of it's moved out in city water. Some of it is left. So what we recommend on, is really on Calathea is you really need to do this. And you're not gonna, you don't need to buy water, is to take a gallon of water with a wide opening, not, not a small opening like a, a jug, even though that will work, but it just takes longer, and leave like a bowl of water sitting out for 24 to 48 hours. The, the chlorine that's left in there will volatilize and come out of the water, and the water will become much, much better for, for Calatheas. You'll know if it's happening to you because you'll start to see, even on the top leaves, a little bit of uh, necrosis or edge burn that'll occur, and that's most of the time, that's what that is. Uh, where should I put my cal uh, network Calathea? We recommend on all indoor plants, whenever possible, within three feet of an east or west window with no curtain or drapes. Curtain or drapes, again, they're like a wall. You're gonna have to close your curtain or drapes because you don't want your carpet to fade or your floor to, to get discolored. We understand that. But try to find a place, again, where you, can, you, you don't have that issue because the plant does need some sunlight. Calathea is a good one as far as, you know, again, medium light, maybe networks kind of towards the low light side. Uh, it could be in farther, five feet in from the east or west window. South window north of the equator, which of course is going to be all of us here in North America. Uh, south window from about November 1st to May 1st is fabulous because the angle of the sun, especially in the northern parts of the United States, uh, the sun is in actually even more than the east or west window. The sun comes down and, and you get a lot of light in there. North is a no-no. Just remember north is a no-no. There's no indoor plant that likes north. Not even even your ZZ plants, they don't, they don't like north. There's no light, there's, there's almost no illumination even in, in light there. You can put it in the north if you want to buy a grow light. Grow lights are great, but you will have to set up a grow light. Uh, why do Calatheas uh, close at night? Uh, they're in the prayer plant family, the Moranthaceae family uh, of, of plants, and that group of plants has this, I guess, phenomenon that, that they go, they go like this, you know, during the night and down during the day. It's kind of a cool feature. Uh, the interesting thing is when they're up like this, I don't think they're, they had to show the same beauty that these plants are known for, but it is part of the plant and it is interesting to see it. Uh, you can actually try to trick it. Uh, you can put it in a closet, pitch dark, see if it'll do it. It won't do it. It's, it's, it's not just the night, it's something to do with gravitational factors and that's about as much of it as I, that I know. What is a Calathea? What is a network Calathea? Uh, network Calathea again is, is this variety that's uh, a mutation from a, a original species of Calathea musecca, and uh, and it's a variety that we're growing here. That's uh, super super cool and super in, and has a, a good home decor type of look to it. And that is all the questions we have for today.